Let's check out Flowerless. This is by uh, Nicole Spiridakis. And this is all gluten-free recipes. I'm really excited. The photography is beautiful. It's dark and kind of like enticing in that way. So let's look at the table of contents. This book was published in 20 or 2014, so it's a little older, but it's still beautiful. Uh, we have cakes and cupcakes, cookies and other treats, puddings, tarts, and other delights, candies and confections, which I haven't seen in a gluten-free cookbook in a while. Look at this photography. Oh, I'm dying. Actually, you can see some of it on the back as well. So let's look at some cakes and cupcakes. Not, not every single recipe has a picture, but some of them do. This is a pear chocolate cake. Like I said, dark, enticing, beautiful. Mexican hot chocolate cake oh, with milk chocolate buttermilk frosting. That looks amazing. Here, okay, here we have an opera cake. Oh, wow. I didn't know that was even possible with gluten-free without it, like, kind of falling apart because opera cakes, it's usually, like, so small each layer. I might have to try that, but that's, like, a whole ordeal. So we also have a strawberry rhubarb maple cake, and here's the photo for that. That looks awesome. All right, let's move on a little further. Ooh, pavlova with cream and berries. Again, beautiful photo. I like that we have a variety of different difficulties throughout, and we have different measurements. So we have grams for more precise bakers and, you know, anybody that's not American. <laughs> and then we also have the American, like, cups and, uh, you know, tablespoons, etc. So we have different measurements right here so you don't have to find a conversion chart, which is really nice. And uh, again, the recipes are, they have, they have serving size on top, but a variety of different kinds of desserts with different difficulties makes it just more appealing to me. Sometimes I like to whip something up really fast, like some of these cookies. And then other times, you know, I want to make like a really elaborate cake. Here we have coconut lemon macaroons. Yummy. Mm, that looks good. Uh, here we have oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. This is my mom's favorite cookie. And I love the cream in the middle. That's so clever. Uh, and we have two. I saw another photo. I'm trying to find it. Ooh, okay. Sesame tahini cookies. These would be super easy to whip up in an afternoon and just call it a night. Have a cute, like a really fun snack or something for the kids for their lunches the next day. Ooh, lemon meringues. They have all kinds of cool stuff. Pumpkin bread. Oh, I can't wait for fall. This is a beautiful photo for pumpkin bread, too. Let's move on a little further. We have puddings, tarts, and other delights. A milk chocolate pudding. Super easy, handmade, if you don't want to go to the store and get the Jello. And I'm not sure. I've, I've had so a lot of luck with finding Jello that like the jello pudding uh, that is isn't glu that is gluten free, but sometimes it's just safer to make your own. And sometimes it might just taste better too. Buttermilk nutmeg panna cotta. Oh, wow, that looks so good. Mm, okay, moving on. We also have a cheesecake with Meyer lemon curd. Ooh, that's easy. Oh my goodness. I never even thought about putting those two together. I don't know why. I bake all the time. I'm not sure what my <laughs> what my brain's problem is. Uh, we have peach, lemon, and rosemary verines. I've never heard of this before. I'm... Oh, okay. Well, I read it. It's a, a verine. I hope I said that right. I probably didn't because it's French. It's a pretty French snack or dessert comp uh, comprising savory, savory or sweet ingredients layered in a small glass. So that's almost like a uh, parfait, right, for us. But it looks just stunning and so tasty. Anyway, this is a really cool cookbook for those of you that are gluten-free. I'm gluten-free, so I always try to find different cookbooks out there because sometimes they do things really well. Sometimes it's like, oh, I don't know. This one I have a lot of hope for. I love the photography. Everything looks really delightful. So good. So this is flowerless. For the natural, or for naturally gluten-free desserts, 
This is by Nicole Sporadicus, and the photographs are by John Lee, so very cool stuff. If you are looking for more cookbooks, join us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Amazon Live. We do a lot of stuff over there, so stay tuned for that. Um, and you'll see us popping up every once in a while stream, uh, streaming live so you can actually chat with us for all of our live streams. Make sure to comment, subscribe down below, and let us know what cookbook you want us to go through next.